Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Most of the images you run across and uh, take with your digital camera are actually bitmapped images. And uh, as such, when you try to resize those images or make them larger, you end up getting jaggy edges or blurry edges. And that's kind of bad when you want to make a small image larger. Uh, the only way of making it a cleaner transition of going from smaller to larger is to turn it into vector art. And by coming over to Vector Magic, dot stanford dot edu you can do just that for free and this is something that would normally take hundreds of dollars worth of complicated software to do but let me just show you a couple of samples that people have uploaded and shared with the web you can upload any particular image and in this case uh, this image happens to be well, it looks like some kind of well logo I zoom in really close and drag it down to where the bitmapping and the jagginess is very apparent on the left. Look to the right. See how smooth those lines are? It's because this bitmapped image has been vectorized. Here's uh, something that comes uh, close to my heart. ISU, Iowa State University, back from, uh, well, I used to live in Iowa. You can detect that the bitmapped image, the original image, very, very tiny, it's got jaggy edges. Over here, the vectorized result, nice and smooth. So if you've got a small picture graphic on your computer that you've wanted to make nicer and cleaner, you might consider uploading it to vectormagic.stanford.edu. Again, for free. So I'm taking the comic image that's found on my blog, chris.perillo.com, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Now. When I uploaded the image, you can see it back here. It says, we believe this image is a logo with blending at color boundaries. Wow, it detected it. It's fine. So now I can choose to stick with that, saying it's a logo with blending at color boundaries. Or I can say, no, it was a photograph. Or it was a logo without blending at color boundaries, not anti-aliased. We click next. What is the quality level, not resolution, of your image? High, medium, or low? Well, I'm hoping that most of your quality is going to be a higher quality, even if it happens to be smaller. Medium and low may be better for uh, like photos that have been resized and just horribly, horribly degraded through the editing process. So I'm going to go with high. Next. Does my logo have 12 or fewer colors, or does it have many colors? Well, I'm just going to say, for argument's sake right now, my logo has 12 or fewer colors, and just see how it does. So now it's going through the image and analyzing it. It asked me the palette to use for vectorizing the image, and that's the uh, default one right there. Let's go with a wider array. It goes in again. It's going to take a little while. seems to be working a little faster than it did the other day when I think it made it to the front page of Dig, and for good reason. Uh, this is something that I've needed for the longest time. I am so glad this kind of software finally exists on the web. It's something that really, you don't realize you need it until you need it. When you've got a smaller logo uh, that needs to be blown up because you need to use it in a bigger capacity, either on some kind of printed sign or maybe you want to upload a higher quality artwork to your website or what have you. So here we go. Can you tell the difference between the left and the right? Probably not on Ustream. But let me look a little closer where the jaggies and the smoothies become a little more apparent. Now can you see what we're talking about here? amazing even more amazing you could download this transformed vectorized result as an EPS suitable to send off to your printer or SVG this is amazing software even more amazing that I can tell it's absolutely free if this product doesn't get funded or purchased by either Google or Adobe or Microsoft I'd be surprised amazing I cannot believe the quality of output that I've seen here. And of course, if I wanted to go through, I could uh, clean it up even more. 
uh, I can click the, the bitmap button and as I click the bitmap button and press it down it'll toggle between the final or the uh, cleaned up image and the original image just to show even more dramatic proof yeah holy dot 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 is absolutely right very cool anytime you guys find a really neat website that nobody knows about that does things like this please pass it on to me chris at perillo dot com i would love to highlight it to share with the world because this <laughs> time money ugh, frustration it saved me so much and i've just started to use it so again, my email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by our chat room, which you can see down below here in the video. And we're typically talking tech and all sorts of wonderful solutions, software on the desktop, or in this case, in your web browser. Uh, and uh, we're typically talking about this stuff 24 hours a day, seven days a week at one website and one website alone, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.